Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials, I am QuickTGZ and in this video we are going to go over the new feature which is going to be Kiseki no Tsurugi which are blade sites. So pretty much uh, from September 12th we are introduced to another new feature so called blade sites. So blade sites will allow you to select spots on the field in which you can place a sword and engrave a record of one of your feats in the game for all to see. So pretty much uh, what you are seeing right over here. So. Uh, Pretty much for this, you need an adventure rank of at least 11 in order to have access to the blade sites uh, feature. So in order to create a blade site, you must first go, first go to the map kite icon, which can be found on the top uh, right corner of the main field screen. So pretty much right over here. If you go ahead and tap on that, you come to uh, this map feature right here or the map screen. Then uh, from here again in the top right, you're going to find the uh, Kiseki no Surugi uh, or the blade sight uh, icon which you can tap on and select a blade sight. So pretty much you'll be able to select a position right in your close proximity. But uh, here since uh, I actually already have... Um, a blade sight already in my close proximity I'm actually not going to place one down so here I'm going to actually quit out of there so in this case um, if you have your blade sight uh, as being open for public viewing other players will be able to see it on the field and interact with it so if I go ahead and tap on this this is going to be my own blade site that others will be able to see uh, difference uh, is that there's going to be a slight difference in terms of the display uh, there actually will be a, a like button for you to like on the actual blade side itself and since uh, this is my own I don't need to like my own but uh, pretty much uh, another thing uh, besides that since you'll be able to interact uh, with blade sites um, pretty much uh, while blade sites can be placed pretty much anywhere on the field it is asked that they uh, that they not be placed in an area that has restricted access so places that you would not be allowed to go into that may ha uh, cause you to get into trouble so please be careful about that so pretty much uh, like I mentioned in the first uh, look video of the fifth anniversary event after selecting the location of your blade site you'll be able to choose uh, the sword for the site and can select a comment in memory that you will be seen that will be seen by other players so if I actually go here uh, here you can see that I have uh, different selections in terms of the swords that I can use and then over here um, you can actually see uh, the comment that I have so um, that's going to be that there so definitely uh, you'll be able to select these um, I like the one that I have so I'm not actually going to change it but also over here you'll actually be able to select a comment as well so um, that's going to be uh, that there and then also uh, with this um, at the bottom here uh, you'll be actually able to have memories uh, feats that you have accomplished in the game with this uh, it can be uh, things such as things that you have accomplished like the number of enemies you defeated how much gold you have collected uh, things like that there so besides that um, pretty much uh, you can also check on the blade sites that you currently have by going to the souvenir travel menu found on the main screen or the main menu screen so going to be right over here with menu and then also going to the omiyage odekake so the souvenir and travel so down at pretty much the bottom uh, right on the left here you're going to find uh, the blade spot list so there are going to be two different tabs for this one is going to be uh, for one that you actually actually have and one is one tab is going to be for the blade sites you have yourself uh, that you've placed down and then one is going to be for the blade sites of others that you have actually visited so those two tabs there then uh, in the case of uh, blade sites you're only going to be limited to three 
but uh, if you actually want to, for example, add a new blade site, you will need to either delete one that you currently have to make room for another one, or use purchase gems to increase the capacity of blade sites that you can have. So pretty much down over here, you can actually go ahead and increase the capacity. So from three to four. So here, this is actually going to cost you 500 purchase gems. So gems that you actually have bought with real money. So if you decide to delete a blade site, uh, the position reset process will take uh, 72 hours after the position reset process has finished and you will be able to select a new blade site. You can also uh, use the purchase gems to skip the 72 hour reset process and create a new blade site immediately. So again, using purchase gems uh, to do so. So besides that, uh, in terms of uh, blade sites, a deleted blade site cannot be brought back. So uh, please be careful with that. So um, you will be able to interact with the blade sites of others. So uh, pretty much if you tap on a blade site of another person like this over here. So uh, you'll actually be able to see the comment that memory that they have engraved on the sword and you'll also be able to like their blade site as well. So I have done that already. So uh, besides that, uh, like I said, you will be able to see uh, the blade sites of other players uh, in the souvenir travel menu as well. So uh, when you tap on the blade sight of another player, the Shidube, Shidube slime will appear on the field. So um, pretty much uh, I have already tapped on this one already. So I want to go to the notice section to actually show you what that looks like. So that's going to be, let's see, Hiseki no Tsurugi, and then right over here. So this is going to be the Shurube slime. So um, with this, um, if you talk to the Shurube slime by tapping on it, you will be able to get rewards such as gold, guiding shards, and play points. So also uh, with that, you will also get someone's memory orb. So a blue sphere with the silhouette of a sword in it. So this is going to be a permanent item. So it will show up in your important items uh, section. So this, I believe, uh, is going to allow you to see the information of blade sites of other players that you have tapped on in the souvenir travel menu. So uh, going back real quick, um, if I go to uh, my inventory go to important items so it's going to be this item right here so uh someone's memory uh, uh records of memories so um pretty much uh this is something that you get from uh just tapping on uh the blade sites and having the shirube slime pop out and then tapping on the shiru uh shirube slime so that's actually what you get so, uh, but there is a limit to uh, the number of blade sites of other players that you can have displayed uh, in the in your tap. So that is actually going to be uh, 100, I believe. So uh, besides that, in terms of the Shirube slime, uh, this slime appears only once per day for each blade site that you tap on. So if you tap on uh, 10 blade sites, you will be able to talk with 10 Shirube slimes. So only one Shirube slime can be present on the field at one time. So a second Shirube slime will not appear on the field if you tap on a blade site while another Shirube slime is on the field. Then also with this, you're going to have a 10 minute window to talk with the Shirube slime when it appears on the field. If you do not talk with it during the 10 minutes, it will disappear, but you will be able to tap on a different blade site to get another one to appear. So there is a limit to how many times you can interact with the Shirube slime in one day. Um, I'm actually not sure uh, what that limit is, but um, Definitely, I have done uh, quite a bit in one day. So def I would, I, if I had to guess, I would say it's probably going to be about 30. 
So uh, here, so uh, something very interesting about Blade Science is that your Blade Sight, as well as other players' uh, Blade Sights, will also double as location setters on the map. So when selecting a spot to put a quest location, Blade Sights can be used as a goal. So Blade Sights that are in your close proximity will not show up as a location setter. So uh, pretty much if it's right in your close proximity, it will not show up on the map. But blade sites that have not been uh, made public to uh, players that created them will also not be displayed on the field either. So also, um, please remember that when you actually have set up your uh, blade site. Then uh, besides that, um, gold passes. So purchasing a gold pass will allow you uh, some special options when creating your blade site. So the first one is going to be a uh, special blade appearance. So uh, here, if I go back to my own blade site right over here and uh, here, you're going to see uh, I have uh, a selection of five slow of uh, five swords. So um, in this case, with the standard uh, sword displays for the blade sites, you will only have access to two of them. So uh, these two right over here. But uh, when you have a gold pass, you will have an additional three, four, five. So you're going to have these three additional ones if you have a blade or if you have a gold pass equipped on you. So besides that, you'll also be able to uh, personalize uh, comments. So um, with this, while there are pre-written comments that you can use uh, to engrave on your blade site, you will have the option to create your own comment if you have a gold pass on. So pretty much uh, this is going to be uh, the comment that I actually made myself. Um, it's pretty much just says welcome to the top of the hill. But uh, if I go here to change, I would actually be able to change uh, to the ones that they actually have written down here that are preset in the game. But at the very top, I would actually be able to ch uh, select this here and actually change this. So um, if I want to, if I want to change this, I can actually do so. But I will be limited to uh, the number of characters that I can use and then also um, I have to be careful of words that I use as well. So um, it's pretty much in terms of personalized comments, uh, you don't you don't want to have put down personal information about yourself or others, and you uh, don't want to write anything that's going to offend anyone. So uh, if you remember from the first look video that I made going over this, I did mention that um, Dragon Quest Walk does not take responsibility for the comments written by uh, players, and players have already accepted an agreement to abide by the terms um, pretty much like I just said, um, pretty much I would, I believe, uh, two days, uh, before the actual update, um, there is actually a kind of an agreement policy that came up in everyone's feed saying that they agree to, uh, the terms of this. So definitely that is something that, um, you need to be careful if you're going to be writing something. Then also something else, uh, blade sight editing. So uh, pretty much that's what I've been doing here. So blade sight editing, seeing um, you uh, can edit the uh, blade sights that you have created on the field. Normally, if you do not have uh, the gold uh, pass, uh, once you create a blade sight, that's going to be it. That's the display that you're going to have. That's the comment that you're going to have. You can't change it. But if you do have... Uh, uh, gold pass on uh, you will be able to uh, edit it so pretty much with this button right over here the only thing that you can edit in this case are going to be the display of the actual sword and then also the comments that you have made in terms of the feet you can't actually change that so uh, pretty much also you will not be able to edit your blade site if the time limit for your gold pass has expired. So after editing a blade site, there will be a waiting period of up to 72 hours in order to check the content of the comments written on it. So in regards to the comments, there is a limit to the number of characters that you can use and also the words that you can use as well. Then besides that, uh, here I actually want to go back to the notices section right over here. So going back to 
uh, editing. So there is a caution. Uh, there is a caution or there is a warning for this. So uh, here um, in this particular section, we're talking about uh, the pretty much everyone's responsibility for this. So um, the developers want everyone to have an enjoyable experience with this aspect of the game. So there are some things that they would like to remind players. So players that have had offensive comments on their blade sites reported uh, that have had their uh, comments on their blade sites reported many times will not have their comments removed, uh, will have their comment uh, removed from public display. So um, if you have actually violated some terms and people have actually uh, reported you, um, the, your comment will not be able, will not be displayed and you will need to change it. So players uh, who continue to write offensive comments on their blade sites will forever have their comments not displayed or maybe even have their account frozen. So again, you need to actually be careful with that. So if you have uh, had your comment changed uh, to not being displayed to the public, please check it to see what may have caused someone to report it and change it yourself. So that is pretty much going to be um, that there. Um, besides that, that's pretty much going to be it about blade sites. So, um, what excites me about blade sites is that they can actually be used as a uh, place setter uh, for a goal. So, pretty much uh, key places such as uh, around my home, uh, maybe places that I go to often, uh, places that don't have a lot of. Uh, sites as well that actually would be um that's actually very beneficial so also for those of you who actually um who are playing overseas where you don't actually have full access to the game um this is actually really good too because you can actually have uh these set on the field and not actually have to use an angel wing in order to set a location so that's actually quite good so definitely um if you are doing a dragon quest walk that's definitely something that you actually want to try overseas again if you don't have access to everything but this actually makes things a bit easier especially if you don't have enough angel wings but with that said, that's what I want to go over in terms of the blade sites that you see on the field right over here. So uh, in terms of uh, blade sites that are not in your closest proximity, uh, you can actually see them like this right over here. Uh, you can see that's what it looks like when you're out of range from it. But uh, besides that, that's what I want to go over in terms of blade sites. So uh, hopefully that was uh, enough information about this and uh, that clears everything up about how this is actually used. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.